Let's talk about my first trip to Seattle. Uh, 1991, I think uh, I went up there, yeah, here it is. I went up to Seattle on, it was the end of March to shoot Queensryche for EMI Records. I love Queensryche, by the way. No, they're not grunge, but they were great. So I go up there to shoot Queensryche, and the next day I had it off on uh, March 30th. I've talked about this in the past. I got to shoot Nirvana the first time. What was great about that shoot, meeting Nirvana and doing that shoot and meeting Queensryche, that was my first trip to Seattle, so I really fell in love with Seattle. I really fell in love with the people, the coffee, the places, the record stores, Sub Pop Records was there. So I was obsessed with Sub Pop, so you know, just seeing Sub Pop in person and meeting everybody was fucking brilliant. I remember going to the, to the record store, on the, all the record stores I could go in and just buying a ton of vinyl, about seven inches and 12 inches of all these bands, everybody from Girl Trouble to, you know, Love Battery and Nirvana, Mud Honey. I could buy anything I could buy. I would buy tons and tons of vinyl. But this was when I, I always tell people, it was like, this was the trip that kind of introduced me to what Seattle was all about, the friends, the people. Everything just started on that trip and built from there. But my favorite part, I'm gonna wrap this up here, is my favorite part was they had this newspaper called The Rocket. And it was like a local, it was like the equivalent to LA's LA Weekly that we have there to this day. But The Rocket was this newspaper and it was, you know, everything that was happening in Seattle, music, you know, stores, it was just a newspaper. And at the time, my dream was that someday I would shoot the cover of The Rocket. And many years later, I was lucky enough to shoot the Melvins, and that was an, ended up being on the cover of the Rocket. Which I've done a ton of magazine covers, and by far, having the cover of the Rocket is the best thing ever. Better than shooting the cover of Vogue, Rolling Stone, or anything. But having a photo on the cover of the Rocket, nothing gets better than that. 